and hello everybody and welcome back to the stream or if it's your first time here welcome hope you are having a fantastic wednesday or whatever day it is for you right now and uh here we are new week so been having a lot of fun with hollow knight and all that and uh every wednesday we've been doing a chill stream and tonight is no different so we're gonna be going into uh just some more stardew valley you know nice uh chill game where i run around uh on crack trying to do everything I possibly can in every single period of time as possible because because even though it's supposed to be a chill game, it's it's also a time management game and it drives me crazy. But we love it. I enjoy it, and I hope you all uh, are having a good week. And uh, yeah, so let's just uh, get into the game here and have a have a swell time uh, just farming. Uh, is Asahi here? There he is. Very good. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right, let's uh, get some Yumi Nikki music on because uh, I never understand what's going on in Stardew Valley that resulted in the fact that it doesn't have looping music. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, so how's everyone's week going? you said about Duolingo. In my high school finals, I had three exams in one day, and I was like, bro, can you not? <laughs> yeah, it, it, like, Duo likes to do this thing where it, like, brings up, like, this crazy shit. Like, is that college student six years old? And it's like, why is this a sentence I'm being asked to learn? Nobody would ever, ever, ever say this sentence, ever. Or like, oh, I have seven tests today. I don't think anybody would want to say that sentence unless they're about to commit suicide. <laughs> it's like those math questions about a dude buying 90 watermelons. Yeah. At least, well, you know, with 90 watermelons, you can make this argument of, oh, like, he's like a party organizer. Like, he, he's, he's gonna have Gallagher come over and smash watermelons at a party he's organizing. But nobody is ever going to see a college student and ask, Is that college dude seven years old? <laughs> it's never going to happen. And nobody's ever going to say, I have seven tests today, without uh, it preceding them leaving the, the vicinity and never going back to school and dropping out, because fuck you. <laughs> Probably some Asian somewhere. Oh, <laughs> They do have a particularly strange thing going on with aging. Where, like, between the ages of, like, 17 to 45, the women all look the same. And then suddenly they turn into a tiny raisin woman when they hit the age of 50. <laughs> Excuse me. game I don't play full screen? I guess I don't. The other kind of metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. Whoa! No, 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 no. I didn't mean to move the whole bed like that. Oh! Kitty gave me a fish. Okay. Almost got the eggs ready. Crop order. Oh yeah, we have to get a bunch of bok choy. I hope I planted some. Man, the Yume Niki, like, uh, the Yume Tuki music is so fucking chill. Oracle. Luck will not be on your side. Wonderful. Wait, no, I don't need living off the land. I don't need that. Actually, since it was talking about marriage, I'm already married. Might be a good idea to visit the caves, huh? Just be careful out there. If you go, bring a life elixir or two. Don't worry, babe. I have 17. All right. Holy moly, a bunch of the crops came in. Very good. We already have uh, a carp or crap. So we'll sell this. Um, assorted flower seeds. Let's put those away. So, interesting that broccoli is a, um... Uh, 
it's a continuous crop. Very convenient. Anything over here? No. Okay. Oh no, I hate that shit. Beets! We could put beets inside uh, Mayor Lewis's fridge. Very good. Very important. Wow, we have a lot of stuff. Okay. It's Thursday. Nice. Okay. Cranberries growing in. Here's some sunflowers. More corn. Um, inventory is full. How dare you? Uh, we're not getting rid of any of the beets. These people actually buy proper farm stuff from you, like bulk products, but they also just pay you for finding random shit in the ground for them. Yeah, it's very strange. The people of Stardew Valley are a weird bunch. So what seeds do I have in here? Got some pumpkins. Good. Artichoke, broccoli. Okay, um... It's a lot of bok choy. I hate... What I don't like about some of these quests is that you have to harvest it. I've always thought that was weird in Stardew Valley. Why can't I build up, like, a gigantic stockpile and then just instantly ship 100 when I get one of these? Like, is... What's wrong with that, you know? Whatever the case, though, is we need to get a bunch of bok choy. Did I plant bok choy? I wonder, did I plant bok choy? In a very specific place. Um, first, let's put all the, let's put a bunch of these st this stuff away, actually. Nope, not the flowers. Those go elsewhere. Not the beets. We need to put the beets in a f in Mayor Lewis's fridge. I have a bunch of normal fertilizer, which is pretty good. Oh yeah, there's broccoli over here. Let's get this. Okay. All right. No, don't eat it. No broccoli. Ew, broccoli. You sell that. You don't eat that. It's gross. Here, so we have uh, some. We have some stuff. Okay, so we did plant a bunch of bok choy in here. It's growing over there. The grips. The grips. The grips. Okay. I also noticed I fertilized those over there, but I haven't fertilized these other cactuses, so I have to really uh, get rid of some of the cact. I have to get rid of some of them to replace them. I think Stardew uses Kana above the kanji, so I won't play it just yet. A kanji is crazy. Very funny when you get a kanji in duo and it's like two strokes, and it's <laughs> but then you get one that's like a hundred, and it's like, oh god, what was going on in their heads? Why have they done this? Ops ain't going nowhere in here. We're gonna put it out there. Okay, so... We're gonna want even more bok choy, because we need to plant so much of it. So we need one, two, three, four. 
four plus nine, so thirteen. And we want one more pumpkin as well. Because we have eight right here, we need another one. Um, so yeah, let's uh let's go put the hops indoors first. I believe I put it in here. Yes, okay. Yeah. Uh, we need 13 bok choy and one pumpkin. Yeah, me versus something like... I don't even remember what that kanji means. <laughs> Probably doesn't help my case that I treat Duolingo almost like a video game. So, like, if I get a kanji that's, like, very few strokes, what happens is that I, like, I'll, I'll wait until I get my double XP bonus, and then I'll go into the stroke practice uh, lessons in Duo, and I'll do, like, 20 of them in, like, 10 minutes, because it's giving me stroke kanji strokes that are very, very easy, and so I just get double experience. It's probably not the way I should be uh, playing an anchovy. Ah, uh, nah, I'm not gonna get an anchovy for you, Leah. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, it's the 11th. Let's go check to see whose birthday it is. There's probably somebody's. It's not gonna meaning stomach, but it's fucking complicated. Yeah, it's uh, apparently so. But okay, um, Stardew Valley Wiki calendar. It's the 11th. It's Jody's birthday. All right. You're more diligent than me. I ignore stroke order. Well, the thing is, well, in duo, when you do the stroke order practice, like it forces you to do it in the correct stroke order, you know. Or else, you, or else you just fail the lesson. So. So okay. So it is raining. So, it's 11 a.m. She, she'll be in... Okay, she's basically just in her house this entire day. So let's go look at what she likes. She likes chocolate, diamonds, pancakes, pie. Well, let's get her a diamond. It's the easiest thing to do. We have infinite diamonds. So we need uh, one pumpkin. Thirteen bok choy. And uh, no point in getting anything else, if we're going to be honest. That one thing's from Japanese cooking some videos, like the cloud drawings from it. Yeah, well, when it, you know, when it, when it hit, it hit. When it clicks, it clicks, and then it just works. Okay. Lobster. Wait, where's the uh, the quest to? Okay, here it is. Okay. Good morning. Wait, whose fridge do I put this in? Couch is I. Why can't I um? Put stuff in his fridge. Uh, do I have to wait until he's not here? That kind of sucks. I have to wait until he's gone? That's lame, but whatever. Let's go get a diamond for Jody. Hope they'll let me into their house. Oh. Can't even remember the last time I dyed my hair. I swear, this color er, never fades from... My hair never fades from this color. Oh, man. And about as enigmatic as the fact that you eat... You eat gems. Brick by brick, suck my dick. 
I'm annoyed that I can't just go into his... Put them in his fridge immediately, but, you know, whatever. Then we go over here. Plant them here. I'll go over here, and I'll pull these pumpkin seeds out. But I won't plant them yet. I'll go give Jody her gift first. They enter through their backyard. Because I'm impatient. Oh! Cutscene. Barry, I'm just making some popcorn. Ah! It's sound. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. I lost all the good friends in those bloody trenches. You know, Kent is, like, one of the most interesting characters in Stardew Valley because he begs so many questions out of his situation and his circumstance. Like, who the fuck is going to war and why in this universe? But, dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Things have changed. Is there a North Courier in this world? <laughs> Man, if... If... If whatever country Pelkintown is in went to war with North Korea, I, I sure hope they won. <laughs> Whisper, Barry, can you say something to him? Lie. I asked for the popcorn. No, I'm not going to do that. Give the Juvenos guns. Bro, they don't need guns. They have magic. They can just, like, cast a spell and make people disappear forever. You know, dead. I know you're hurting, but don't blame, but don't blame your wife. You're absolutely right, Barry. Turn your ass into corn. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. They disappear to the same place Avdol went. <laughs> Birthday gift. That's a very kind of you. I love it. But you're a friend of the family, Barry. Sorry about my behavior before. <laughs> This game is so wholesome. But then you have witches and evil monsters and uh, and then apparently like a war where people hurt, died horrifically in bloody fashions. It's such a strange universe. I hope Haftel can eat that popcorn without arms. It's the same dimension Zahando sends things. You ever think that, man, it'd be so funny if they if Araki brought Avdol back and he was armless, but he had like a bunch of random knick-knack items with him that were like objects from the fucking uh, from Diamond is Unbreakable that were sent to the realm. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay, we planted the pumpkins. We have the beets. I have to wait until tomorrow for the beets, apparently. He made new arms from the debris. Yeah. Let's go pet the animals. He's a junk Borg. Oh, man. That's taken care of very quickly.
I don't know if Junk Borg is a thing. Well, like, it's just prosthetics. Is what it is. That's right, we have this super duper place here now. So. I still think Kakyoin could have been saved. I really like that um, fan comic of Vampire Kakyoin. I really like that one. I think I think I think it's kind of nonsensical that Joseph Joestar was able to survive that fight when he had all the blood sucked out of his body. But for some reason, Kakyoin hat with a hole inside of him cannot be uh, brought back to life. Like, come on. So I just twiddling my thumbs for a moment here. Kaku and using cherries to psych people out thinking it's blood. <laughs> Gotta say, it must be an easy, uh, must be very easy to, um, you know, go to Halloween parties when you're, uh, when you are literally just, uh, when you are literally a vampire. Yeah, that will work, I think. Actually, if I pushed it, if I had pushed it over here, hmm. May or may not have made mistakes with positioning the cactuses. But, uh, that's too late to fix now, at least. So, uh. I almost have enough eggs. Oh, that's another thing I remember. We, uh, set up some of the traps now. Let's go, let's go, uh, the beach. A friend wonders if Joseph was saved because the blood did something to his Joestar blood, but I think the fact that Dio could force fuse with John's body means that Kakyoin could have been saved. I mean, I don't think that you even need to speculate. I think that it's obvious that Araki does not pay a massive amount of attention to, like, what makes sense in his fucking stories. Which is fine, you know, as long as you accept... As long as people are willing to accept that, you know, Jojo is a... Is a bad... Is a good, bad anime. Because there's so much of the shit that happens, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Even if you discount the fact that it's fucking magic. Magic stand nonsense, you know? And that the result is that a lot of stuff that happens is just arbitrary. But, uh, we like it because it's silly. Okay, yeah, so we need to wait some days for those to actually have anything in them. Which is totally fine by me, because I hated checking them every day. He's trying to make sense of it, because Stardust was his favorite part. Oh, uh, well, that, that's his mistake. I'm thinking he can make sense of it. <laughs> he can't make sense of JoJo whenever it's being bullshit. But okay, so we don't have to, we don't have to get anything from the crab tramps, so... It's time to get blackberries. I wonder if you divorce enough times the sea ghost refuses to give you his pendant. 
That would be awesome, if I'm going to be honest. I would love that. Punish the people treating the lives of these NPCs like they're a game. I can't tell you how glad I am that this stuff adheres to my uh, my for my foraging level now, because I don't have to make jam out of all this stuff. I'll just sell it as as a, as a stack. All right, I think that's all of those in this forbidden forest here. Let's continue down. It's supposed to be a horror game for Gooey because we kill all the slimes. Yeah. Honestly, somebody should make a video game that is literally that. Like, where you're playing as an animal or as a creature and you're trying to escape getting hunted down by humans. Has anybody ever made a survival horror game like that? I feel like it's always humans escaping monsters, but what about, like, an actual, like, harmless creature trying to escape humans? I guess there's like this one that I think we I think we watched like a, a game like a rat game once that was kind of like that. I, th I think we watched a game that was kind of like that before, but like it was also sort of like a little nightmares sort of scenario. Does anybody ever use the parry on the sword successfully? I feel like every time I have ever attempted to legitimately parry in Stardew Valley on the sword, it doesn't do anything. I have literally never used the parry. Yeah, like, it's a real question, because, like, I feel like I've never been able to successfully use it even once. And I don't know if that's my error, or if it's, like, hard to use. Okay, yeah, we've got a bunch of berries. Now we're gonna go home and sleep. After I put all this stuff away. Oh! No, stop! Okay. The jam away. Oh boy, okay. So, uh... No, stop! Open the... No, open the pink chest. Thank you. I'll just go inside now, it's fine. You have so much stuff. Yeah, I have a ludicrous amount of shit. I am a hoarder in this game. I just am. Damn! A lot of money. Stray is technically a cat running from humanoids. I don't think that's technically true because you're running away from, like, those... Giant bacteria more often in Stray.
Rain all day tomorrow, huh? Okay. Displeased today, they'll make my life difficult. Wonderful. For no reason, I'm gonna give my wife a, a, a gem. Like, there's literally no mechanical purpose behind this. I'm going to town today. Okay. More mail. This recipe of mine won first place in the cooking competition. Hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend. Ice cream. Woo! Ice cream for ice cream. So, okay. I've been putting the where have I been putting the seeds here yes okay all right you're encouraging for Pika Pika Pikachu what There's bok choy. We can, we can go get two more bok choy to put in the put in those little areas. Why are these growing late? Hate that. I want everything to be symmetrical. All finish growing at the exact same time. Because the mental disorder people eat it in at all things. Ah, yes, I remember now. Pumpkin! Am I so desperate for bok choy that I'll put bok choy right there instead of pumpkins? Hmm. I think I might put pumpkins there, or, or bok choy there. Let's go nine. We need 11 bok choy. Okay. First of all, let's put all the stuff away that we're not going to sell. Not selling it. Well, actually, no. We'll, we have to ship all the bok choy we get to, for the quest, so never mind. We will put that in there. Yeah, 9, 11... Yeah, I guess we're gonna get more bok choy. Surely it'll grow really quickly. So that uh, we can plant pumpkins there. One more time. At least one more time. And it is Friday, so... Oh, my, my wife's birthday is the day after today. That's cool. I think that's everything, yeah.
Holy moly. Eggplants are this season, right? I think so. Yeah. Peppers are not. Not selling those. Right, my wife went out. Take a stroll. Oh my god, we almost have a stack of uh, those seeds. Oh shit, that's gonna be good. Okay, let's go get 11 bok choy. Anybody have a better quest today? Holy shit! 270. Oh, she went to visit her parents. Cool. Makes sense to me. Let's go to the mayor's house again. And put this shit inside of his fridge. Okay, um, game, do you want to explain to me how I do this quest? Game? Is this quest broken, game? Have I made... Did they change it? No. Oh, that's the wrong quest. What am I doing? Place 10 beets inside Mayor Lewis's fridge. I saw some fan art where someone made DDD black. <laughs> I mean, in the anime, his voice sure sounds, sounds like that. Uh, so, what's going on with this? Place beets in his fridge. Is this quest broken? Because of the update? They made it muscly instead of chonk. Okay, that's cursed. That part is cursed. In fact, that, sound, that sounds like a prelude of pornography of some kind. look this up for a moment here. We have to talk to Lewis first. Uh, sh let's go say something, I guess. Uh, where the fuck did he go? Okay, well. Well, now I just don't know what the fuck, where the fuck he went. Probably over to here? No. Has he already gone to the pub? Probably not. I don't, know, I don't know why talking to him would do anything, because it's, it's like this weird thing that was asked for you to do by Mr. Key. 
go up here and look take a look where is where would Lewis be today in the fall Friday the 12th Stands outside the clinic in front of a tree. Because I've done this quest before, but for some reason I can't interact with the fridge. Hope things are going well for you on the farm. Yeah. Did the fucking update break this goddamn quest? Why can't I interact with his fridge? Okay, go go back and look this up again. Wait. I have nine. Oh my god, I'm pissed. Okay, all right, I understand. Okay, that was that's kind of embarrassingly silly. Whoops. But like other versions of this type of quest don't require you need to have all of them at the same fucking time. So that's just that's so strange. But whatever. I got the bok choy I needed. But whatever, okay. That's kind of silly. And annoying. But, um, whatever. I'm gonna plant this bok choy over here, but... I'll instead plant beets. Yeah. Surely two of these plant of these beet plants will give me some stuff to put into the goddamn fridge. But okay. Now that that's out of the way, I don't want to carry these around if I'm not going to put them in, in anywhere. So I'll put them there temporarily. I don't need this quality fertilizer right now, either. Oh, I can't fit it in there. Oh. Oh, that's why. Okay. You need to have exactly ten to do anything. Let's go pet the animals. Right, we need, a, we need a, a nut. We also want to give eggs to Gus. Eggs for Bart. Bartolomue. And there's the sound of the quest. So, we need 20 eggs. 24 eggs. Well, we have two, so that's 22. Okay. Eggs, 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 eggs. Thank you. 
I can't get over why these goats are out of sync, even when I intentionally try to milk them in sync. I don't understand why. I assume it has to do with, like, their hearts. One of them is younger, so I guess it's out of sync now, I guess. It's very, very weird. I don't understand it. Maybe if you have max hearts with the goats, they'll give milk every day, and so I keep encountering the issue of, like, one of them uh, is giving milk every day, the other one is giving it every other day, and that's why it seems out of sync? I don't know. It's five o'clock! Everyone is here to get drunk. Smallmouth bass frenzy has begun, whatever the fuck that means. Three thousand. Yes. Uh, to get a big barn, I assume we need like twenty-five, th like thousand or some shit though. So we're nowhere near what we need yet. Hey, a ticket. I like these silly prize ticket things. Oh, let's all let's. I need to go get a hazelnut also for Sam. That might also give me a ticket. Cool. How did Mayor Lewis put an entire bed inside this uh, vending machine? But anyway, let's go get a hazelnut for uh, for Sam. Where would Sam be? Let's go take a look at the calendar. Where the fuck would Sam be? Excuse me, it's Gohan. I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling him Sam. Alright. It is the 12th. And it's Friday. Oh, he should be at the saloon playing the arcade. All right, let's go. Thanks a million, Barry. I should have known you'd be able to want to take this job. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 talk radio. Lobster. Did I check them today? I don't think I did. Let's go check the lobsters. Still nothing, okay? Great. Maybe I already did check it all today. Uh, in which case, let's get the fuck out of here. That fucking uh, lady might be here on Fridays, but I'm not sure. Even if she is, I mean, she's probably closed by 8. I don't know. Let's go take a look. I think she usually sells a lot later than the other vendors. Maybe she is around. If I'm even remembering correctly. Damn it! I suck at this game. Okay, are there any... I think Blackberry season is probably over. Uh, I'm checking anyway, though. Yeah, I think Blackberry season ended already.
But now I suppose the question is, what the fuck do I do with the rest of the hours? Like, go to bed early? Actually, you know what? I think the answer to that question is yes. Go to bed with our wife. If I can get there in time to do the animation. Fuck! I didn't. It's fine. Wait, what? Oh! I wasn't too late. Doctor will click first. Hey, did you have a good day? Mine went well. It was refreshing to take a walk and also visit your parents. Nice. Lots of fucking money today. And it's raining. I don't have to fucking water anything. Except the cactuses. Oh, we don't mind the guinea pig smell. No. Why would I mind? It'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone I snagged this from the back room of Joe Mart ages ago. See you soon. Stolen poppers. I love it. Thank you. Shane is a pretty cool dude. He's just a fucking drunk. Because he's down on his luck. Is this a random flower? That's a random flower. The fuck? Oh, hey, bok choy. Cool. Cranberries are overpowered. And to be quite frank, I should have planted cranberries in the greenhouse. So, okay. Also, the honey goes over there. All the bok choy is shipping. What do you mean I've shipped one? What? So confused. Okay, that's, that's shipping two of them, but there's a fourth one? Okay, very weird. Oh yeah, and let's uh, get all this. So we just picked up some bok choy. Ancient fruit! Okay, so we need like three? Like three go right there? Also, we'll get one of the beet seeds, so I don't have to go buy any new seeds. Damn! We got the double ancient seed. Very good. We'll put it here because it's important. So, okay. Oh, hello. Hello, tree. Late Lord hates key. I think everyone doesn't like key. They don't like that he's blue. Sardine frenzy begun at the beach. Cool. All right, so we got those. So now the question is, do I be a dickhead and wreck all these cactuses so I can fertilize them? Hmm. Not sure. 
I mean, it might be better to start earlier rather than later. Also, I just realized that all of this has already grown in. That is fucking crazy. Okay. Time to ship a kajillion bok choy. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna have to go and buy more? Well, guess what? I was wrong! Are the sardines gonna kill Willy? Hopefully not. Willy is cool. Seeds don't go there. Go over here. Slightly confusing choice on my part, but that's the way it is. Sell all of it. And sell none of the cactus seeds, of the cactus fruits, because we're going to turn all of the cactus fruits into seeds. Okay, let's go in. Put uh, the hops away. So let's go count how much bok choy I need to go buy. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four minus two, twenty-two. We need twenty-two bok choy seeds. And we need three more baskets. Claystone refined quartz. Clay, stone, and then one, two, three baskets. Take care of that after we go shopping. Wait, no, I need more because I'm going to... Need more baskets. You better be open on Saturday, motherfucker. Red mushroom for Emily. We have plenty of those. And I get a ticket? Clint real quick. Wait, no, I can go to Clint through the bus stop. What am I talking about? That's so cool. Corn. Cron legacy. Coffee. Bizarre. I like that the Jojo so soda gives you a uh... Speed now, I think that's appropriate. Okay, we need one more basket. Or garden garden pot. Okay, yeah, okay. That's what you want to call it, that's fine. That's a oh wait no, we plant the bok choy in here anyway, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. So. Only two get to go there, but that's fine. 
I am absolutely certain that I fertilized those, but okay. And then these two can go over here. Fertilized. Kajillion more bok choy on the way now, so... Put this co these random corn seeds away. We wanted a... red mushroom. Where the fuck would Emily be right now? Wow, her behavior is not season dependent. It's very, very specific. Okay, and rainy days. So she she stands at her she she's in her living room and at 12 p.m. Then she goes to her job at 3:30. Uh, so we are we'll we'll either catch her in her house or. We'll catch her while she's going to her job. Oh. Oh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in this house, and you know it. Oh, it's the new farm boy. I've been here for ten... No, two years, excuse me. He has a name, you know. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Uh, I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Barry. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean up the cushions. Only because I cleaned them last week. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? <sighs> All right, you win. I guess this could be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Thanks, Barry. That was a great solution. Come in, Barry. I want to show you something. My secret hobby I've been practicing for months. Now sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? Will this go through when I have the settings with the music off? I'm not sure. Let's see. Nope. 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 There's no, there's no noise whatsoever. That sucks. If I had known, I would have, um... If I had known, I would have turned the music back on, but I didn't know that was going to happen. Hello, Barry. So you saw the ad and I posted. It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. Yep. Money. Fucking money. Clint, Jody, Emily. I still don't know how to get the the Clint cut scene where he uh, tries to confess to Emily. I still don't know how to get that, even though I've gotten max hearts with him. Star drop T. What the fuck is this? A very special gift that would delight anyone. Okay, I'll give it to my wife. In fact, I'll give it to my wife 
right now because it's her birthday today. I don't care that I have max hearts with my wife. I don't care if it'd be more advantageous for me to give this to somebody else. It is her birthday today, and all I do is make her is have her eat rocks. Oh, I'm not bored. I'm just enjoying what we have here. It's a simple life, but I like it. Hey, you remembered my birthday! Thanks, this is really nice. Yep. Let's go check the, the, tra the traps again. Traps with Pico. Bitches with Pico when you give them something actually edible by humans. <laughs> For real though, how the fuck do I get Clint to... How do I get that scene with Clint and uh, Emily? I wonder. How long does it take these things to catch stuff now? Does it take like literally like a week now or something? And when it, and when they catch the stuff, do you get like a bunch of stuff? I sure hope that's the case. And that I'm not doing something wrong. Wait a minute, I have to bait them! Oh my god, I am the stupidest motherfucker on the planet Earth. I am the dumbest person alive. I cannot fucking believe I forgot about that. I'm the stupidest person to have ever lived. Holy shit. How could I fucking forget that? You know what, I'll tell you why I forgot that, because I fucking hate those things. So of course I didn't retain information on how they fucking worked. Oh, please tell me the fucking woman here is still here. Please, 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 please. Fuck! I only use them for community center. I mean, yeah, they're like, they're really annoying to put up with, you know? They're a chore to put up with. get some food for you guys. I don't have an automated system yet. No! Oh shit, I just got wool from the rabbit. That's cool. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. Man, I fucked up today. I missed the animal petting deadline. And I massively fucked up with uh, those stupid things. Greenhouse is fine, though. Right, there's no room, that's why I... Yeah, yeah. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Here we go. That's a lot of energy. And you get the lobster for Gus. Truffle oil, because he's fucking um, uh, Marnie. Uh... Okay. 
reach level 100. I need to, yeah, I need to wait for the beets. I need to wait for spring again to get an apricot, and I need to get... Okay, yeah, so whatever. Um, what the fuck do I do now? What time I have left? I don't know. Did I go in here already? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. I'm kind of just wandering around. Oh, more blackberry. Foraging, like, just better nowadays? Because, like, I'm just finding so much stuff. Levels are foraging. It's max, that's why they're all uh, iridium. But, like, that doesn't really influence, at least it didn't use to influence how often the stuff spawns. This influences uh, the quality that you get when you pick it up. There's no purpose behind doing this. I don't need any of this stuff. Hey, it's one of these weird trees. Seed. That's fine. Let's, let's, let's go to bed now. I wandered around doing random shit. What did we do? Oh, the fairy rose is fucking cracked. Oh, yeah, and cranberries are cracked. I forgot, yeah. Sorry, sorry, did I say damn way too quick, way too loud? <laughs> Clear and sunny all day. Luck's not on my side, Queen of Sauce. 
Blackberry Cobbler. This one always reminds me of Stardew Valley. There's a few days in fall where the valley is overflowing with the most delicious blackberries I've ever tasted. If you can get your hands on some, I'd highly recommend them for this simple cobbler. If you learn how to cook the, the cobbler. Yep, good. Hank the Mines, hey, if you find something tasty, remember to br get bring me a piece. completely self-referential to the fact that they literally eat rocks so th so th so the whole thing about them eating rocks is the whole thing about the people of stardew valley eating rocks is like completely intentional for some reason is that why they is that why they all live forever and stay the same age forever because they eat rocks Is that the reason? Barry, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon. Red plate. The thing about calling a food dish a red plate is kind of a uh, sus to me. Or maybe it's purgatory. That's that's a crazy theory. I wonder how to make I'm not sure how to make sense out of that. You've reached a new level of understanding. I don't know what that means. That's why they can eat anything. Sure, I just mean I don't know how to make sense out of how or why they this would be purgatory. Is what I mean. Also, wow, God. It's like nothing. We need so much bok choy, it's kind of nuts. Holy shit, they spawned at the same time. So, having four bok choy would be pretty good right now. Oh my god, he gave me a thing. Like, this is purgatory. How did they. How, how did anyone get here? What happened in their life that would make them die and then come here and then forget or whatever? I don't know. I guess Ken. I guess Ken. Kent died in the war. That would that would be an explanation that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Maybe Clint is depressed because he's the only one that can't eat rocks. How will he ever compete with all the men that are vying for Emily who can eat rocks?
Almost forgot. Oh, tomatoes. They lived such a mid-life, they didn't belong in either place. <laughs> Mid. Whoops. The crepes get to go in here. But nothing else does. Okay. Well, the corn will get to as well, I think. Oh my god, we're so close to a stack. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Like our wife. Um... Corn away. All right. So it's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Let's go get. I just realized how low my energy is. Let's get one of these stupid items out of my fucking inventory. Four salmon. Okay, hold on. Let me go look up salmon. Salmon. 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. In the river or waterfalls? Waterfalls. Well, doing the river is fine enough. So now that I, now that I baited the fucking things, are they gonna have stuff in them? That'd be nice. Lobsters. Wonderful. I love it. But okay, so like the river works, so we'll just fish here. Did you pick up a shell and get broccoli seeds? Yeah. No, I dug them up. So, we have a mission from Willy to get salmon from the river. No, it's not perfect. Yes! Oh, that's just nut right there. That's what that is. You get perfect and the treasure chest.
Easy. I'm just now realizing the people of Pelican Town don't have cars. That's kind of, as, as somebody who lives in the USA, that's kind of wild to think about. That there is a place you can live where you don't need a car. Geode. God, okay, well. Can I stop getting Tiger Trout, please? Shite. Kill everyone now! Eat shit! Filth is my love, filth is my life. Straight into the trash bin. I'm gonna miss out on petting the animals. Fuck! Tiger trout again, though. I don't want a tiger trout, I want salmon! Give me the salmon! Give me the salmon now! Nice. Ooh, it's iridium. Uh, well, that sucks. Uh, I guess, um... one of these? Willy. Okay. I don't have inventory for that. And it disappeared immediately. <laughs> you 
You succeeded. Sam was excited and catch, don't you think? Sometimes they seem so smart it's scary. Well, here's your award. Yep. Fucking money. Money, 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 money. I'm gonna miss the the time to pet the animals, but oh well, I guess. Since I missed the time to pet them, it doesn't matter then if I go there first or not. Instead, I'm gonna... Oh, my best salmon until now was, uh, rare. Interesting. Nice. Iridium tiger trout, however. Okay, alright. I got row. Kinda weird. the seeds away because I'm not using them. Let's plant the bok choy because I am trying to use this right now. Uh, put the crab away. Yeah. Wait, and the, the cockle. And that's a big cockle right there. All right. Oh, and I notice I have a, a warp totem. That's a very strange thing to have. Put that away. Where do I put the row? I guess here? Get open the mystery box tomorrow. Not gonna lie, I don't want these here. Did I go in here? Already? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, everything is watered. Let's go milk the animals while they're asleep. I bet they enjoy that. No, not the mushrooms. No, no, stop. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Still waiting for a rabbit's foot. Rabbit's foot is one of those last things that I need. In order to fucking, uh, get one of the, uh, community centers done. And then we need the big barn to get the pigs to get a singular truffle and truffle oil. So. Uh. Did I eat one of these? Man, they're all buff foods. I hate that, because they're too good for me to just randomly use up. Actually, I probably should have used one of them. Does one of them have fishing on it? No, none of them have fishing on it, so there's no point in trying to use any of them. What I'm running out of? I'm running out of bait, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? 
Interesting. Wait, I have these in two different locations. I thought. Oh, I see. I see. Maybe I start using... I'm running out of bug guts. I think I'm... I think I'll start using this when I run, once I run out. Time is going very fast. Yeah. 9.30. 5. So... I guess I'm technically done, so let's go. Go to bed with our wife. Okay, so... Birthdays in fall, we have... Oh, we have Sandy, the uh, lady in Calico Desert. Woo! Money, 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 money. So, Sandy in the Calico Desert. Let's go see what she likes. She likes flowers, I see. She likes daffodils, crocuses, and sweet peas. That's very nice. Fair and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Stardew Valley Family Fair. Very good. Man, all the spirits have been pissed off at me recently. I have a lot of coffee in my inventory. I didn't mean to give her one, but it's fine that I did. You figured out what you're going to use for our strength grand display tomorrow? Yeah, I'll just get like an iridium bar or something. It'll be fine. I know how the fair works, you old bag. I won it last year. Fill it with the good cheese. Yeah, the cheese is also important. It, you, ha you have to have unique items and also good items simultaneously. Also, that was a bunch of bok choy we just pulled out of the ground. So let's go over here. Yeah, we, we still have so much bok choy to go through. Admittedly, however... We do have a lot of bok choy planted in the ground. To use for all these purposes. <gasps> Dude. Oh, ancient fruit. Mmm. That's good shit. That's a lot of bok choy. So, ancient fruits. All well, the bok choy up front. Wait a minute, I think it's easier to do this. Oh, that's so much easier. Why have I not been doing that the entire fucking game? Because I'm le stupid. Okay, now we're above half. That's good. Oh my god, we got so many seeds! Holy shit! Holy fuck! So, 9, 18, 
Honestly, because it's mo actually because it's Monday the fifth, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get pumpkins for what that one area. Otherwise, we'll we won't have time to make get any more pumpkins in there. So we're not gonna count this. These are gonna be pumpkins. So instead, nine, plus four, thirteen again. Okay, that's fine. Thirteen more. What about? Oh my god, these fucking get the shit out of here. I don't need these. Get this out of here. Now the question is, is there bok choy over here? Well, there is, but it's just not grown yet. Um, yeah, so, so, so far we need 13 more bok choy seeds. And then... And, or rather, and also, we, uh... We would do well to have nine more pumpkins. Also, that one came up rooted, so that we can get fifth. We can get fourteen. God damn, that ancient fruit. Ooh. skipping the walk today, which is good, because it's rainy as fuck, so I won't, won't have to be, wouldn't be able to. Good, yeah. Hope, uh, hope the leak isn't, uh, too much of a fucking pain in the ass. Why my wife went out here. Damn, seems to be doing okay without me around. Good. Get 14 of this. And nine pumpkins. Boom. 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 Firepower. Oh! A new quest! The number of grubs in the local mines have made mining dangerous for other people, not me. There's good money to slay 50 of them. I do not want to immediately do another Gus famous omelet, so yeah, we'll do we'll we'll kill we'll kill bugs. This isn't too hard either. We just need to get monster musk. And then go into the uh into the areas where there are bugs. And that'll be easy. Uh let's open up this case we have here with uh Clint. What bizarre- Whoa! That's badass. That's actually awesome. I am very happy to see that as a reward. But alright. Let's go check. Please give me a goddamn lobster. Fuck! That's no lobster. That's a bunch of bullshit is what that is. So apparently the these things still do work the same. Which is annoying. I hate it. I hate them. And once I have the lobster, I'm never using these again. Monday now. Does that lady show up on Mondays? Probably not, but I'll go take a look. Wait, we need to go give a... 
a flower to Sandy, actually. Yeah, do that real quick before 5 o'clock rolls around. After I check for this woman. Nope, she's not here. That's fine. She likes the sweet pea, the daffodil, and the crocus. So, we'll just go get one of those. I would be shocked if we didn't have any of them. Oh, we need to pet the animals. Man, the magic trees look very strange. Like, what is this Throne of Eldraine shit here? Okay. I guess that's where I've been putting those. Okay. So, yeah. Crocus, Daffodil, Sweet Pea. Let's go look. If Crocus is there... We have daffodils here. And we have we have a lot of sweet peas. Holy shit, we have so many sweet peas. Hi, a ticket to Calico Desert. Yes. Only 500, it's fine. I see cactus fruits. Coffee time. Lime and the coconut. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? Where is she? Did I, did I see her walking over here? Oh, that's so sweet. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. seems to stay a little cooler by the lake. Good to get out of the house now and then. Ooh, it's hot! Yeah, it's a fucking desert. No one... Obviously, it's hot. Well, you can go to Calico Creek. Yeah. Okay, that's all that's useful here. I found the cactus fruits. I, got, I gave her the gift. Let's get the fuck out. wagon is wondering where you've been. Don't worry, bud. Fifty grubs, bok choy. Yeah, no, it's fine. I can plant the plants when it's dark out. First, I'm gonna do other things. Uh, put the bones away. Put the... Oh, God. I'll put the junk over here. I don't want to fucking think about it. Okay. Pet the animals! Pet all the animals! Where's the other goat? It must be indoors. I don't know where else it would be other than indoors. No 
know, speed pet the animals, and then I'll milk them when they're asleep. Three normal eggs. Did the duck lay a chicken egg? <laughs> what? This game is fucking weird. Okay. Literally miss one day petting them and they give you a small goat milk instead of a full one. Devastating. All right. Wow, seven cactuses. Holy shit. Okay. Um, quality fertilizer. How do I make this shit again? Sap and fish? Easy. Crayfish. Clams are fish. So, we want seven of these. I have to go to eight. That's fine. Hey, can you please click? Okay, I don't know why it wasn't clicking. Oh, it kind of sucks to do this at night, but oh well. So. One there. All right. Very cool. Those all look watered, so very good. Let's go try to kill some grubs, like, with the last few hours we have left. Ugh. Okay. Go to 15. That's probably a good place to go. to look for a way down. Okay. Target spotted. I don't know if this is on everyone else's mind, but the grubs when they die sound like diarrhea. I feel like that's like an unsaid thing that crosses everyone's minds when they kill the grubs.
Or maybe I'm the one that's weird. Looking for grubs. No more grubs. I've been using uh, refined quartz, so I'll pick that up. Fart reverb, yeah. Diarrhea reverb. There are more grubs for us, okay. You bastard. Nice. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill your offspring. Galaxy Sword is so satisfying. Okay, it's midnight. I should probably just leave. was that? Nine? Yeah? For, like, only two hours spent for it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, we have one more day. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I have leaned back. It took a while for me to decide to lean back. One more day. And that one more day will be... Oh, what the hell? You don't mind if I do some redecorating now and then, do you? I'm still excited to have a place of my own to work on. What do you think, sweetheart? I figured the room could use a little more decoration. I like it. But, uh... Oh, we can't put it there? Oh, yeah! That's nice! You did very good, hon. Cool. Why is my iridium rod over there? So, we want to get some cheese. We want we want a variety of items for this uh, event. She needs a bedroom mini fridge for the rocks. Oh God. What did I just put in there? I don't remember. Okay. I'm gonna be mad if these rare seeds turn into nothing. I know they turn into the, uh, the gem fruit, but it's like... I just get worried that, like, nothing is gonna happen. Beats! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I planted two beets, and then I got two beets. Fuck you, game. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. I have to wait more. Um, pumpkins. So, pumpkins take like 13 days, I believe. If you minus 25%, 
25% of 13. Obviously, 25% of 10 is 2.5. Of 3, it's like seven, It's like 0.75, so like... We're taking like four, three or four days off of uh, the pumpkin growth? That means we could plant more pumpkins. And that should work. Keyword should. I am so mad about these beats. <sighs> what the fuck? These fucking beats. God damn it. If I get two seeds from one beat, then I don't want to sell all of them at once. Right, okay. One beet seed. Very well. If it becomes winter before I can get the beets, I'll just put them in the greenhouse. It'll be fine. It's just fucking annoying. Damn, look at all those cactus fruits. The amount of shit I have to do right now is actually kind of very large. Because the fair just began. I have no inventory! <laughs> shit! I am not gonna go fishing. I got three beet seeds. That's kind of fucking ludicrous, but okay. How long do these take, by the way? Six days? Appropriately tense music. Yes. Put those away. How did I immediately forget the corn? <laughs> it's fine, I should be able to find what I need. Lots of pausing goes a long way. So I need night items. Shouldn't be hard. Let's get a... Oh, this is a forage, so that counts. Get one of those, get one of those. One, two, three, four. That's uh, four. We need more stuff. Don't know if the Void Essence does fucking anything. Fish. Fish are good here. Salmon's probably not the most valuable I could use for this, though. I think I could probably use... <laughs> Shad. Do I have any deep sea fish I haven't sold? Here we go. Midnight Squid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more.
Iridium coral, maybe? No, that's the same category as the rainbow shell. Let's go get the cheese. The cheese. The cheese. We'll get the cheese. We'll get cheese and an egg. An, ir an iridium egg. Or an iridium fla uh, feather. That probably works, yes. Pet the animals. Pet the animals. So, I think... Goat cheese is going to be best. So we'll get the goat cheese. That... I, the clucking happened at the exact time that I pet the rabbit and it looked like the rabbit clucked. Maybe the mayonnaise? Probably not the mayonnaise. Let's, let's do the iridium feather. Gotta be honest. I think the feather is good. I think the I think what I have here is pretty fine. I pretty pretty except one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah. That's probably fine. Actually, you know what? Instead of um instead of the void essence, I'll go get a diamond. Okay. So one problem I'm having in my head here is that when we when we leave the fair, we won't be able to buy any seeds, which means we cannot get pumpkin seeds. So my dilemma in my head is that we're not going to be able to plant pumpkins in time for them to grow for next for next year uh, or for last time this year. So what I think I'm gonna have to do when I get back is put all these pumpkins through the fucking seed maker. Which I don't like the idea of doing. But I think I need to. Um... I'm gonna... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna look up pumpkin. I wanna see... Is it 13 days? Pumpkin seeds. 13 days. Okay, I'm going to use a calculator now. So, 10... Okay, so if we remove... If we... It, it rounds down to three days. So, it, so if we put the pumpkins down... They'll have 10 days to grow. The, the the year the, the the season ends after the 28th and today is the 16th which means here's another problem if i don't plant the pumpkins today all i might lose some of that fertilizer and that's another problem now i do have deluxe speed grow so maybe it doesn't matter maybe but maybe it does matter I'm not sure. <sighs> oh, man. Eh, I can replace the fertilizer. It'll be fine, actually. I have some of my inventory right now, so whatever. But okay, uh... I pet all the animals, I can just milk them when I get back, so... This should be fine. I guess this is what we're doing. Ooh, 
we get we can get these tickets here now. That's cool. That's cool. So there's there's like a good reason to actually do the stuff here now. Other like every year is to get one of those tickets. Greetings, bright. The Star Valley Fair is finally here, and the crowd is growing by the minute. Just like last year, I've set up an empty grand display for you. Speak with me. We are ready to commence the judging. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Iridium bars, like, just win always, because it's, like, of course they would. Animals have a successful year. I'm hoping the high-quality produce will impress the judges. Nah, I'm gonna win. How's your grand display? Your moment to showcase the fruits of your labor. Yeah, I have this medal from outer space here, yeah. Managed to catch several Iridium-quality beauties just in time for this year's fair. Our grand displays are judged. I'll have to try my hand at the fishing game tent. Yeah. I'm confident that I'll emerge victorious at this year's grand display. Yeah, sure. You know I'm your son-in-law, right? Like, it, it, if I win, you win. <laughs> Some of the produce in our grand display came from my little greenhouse. We've been carefully growing this stuff all year. I think Robin and I make a pretty good team, don't you think? If you want to master the wood, you have to think like a tree. What? <laughs> There's so much to do, I don't know where to begin. Oh, I gambled and lost it all at the spinning wheel. Ha, my wife's looking at the swords. Aren't these weapons cool? I might have to bring one of these home with us today! It's heartening to see others take an interest in my work. Makes me feel like I'm doing something good for the world. I finished some of these pieces just last week. Please inspect them closely. I stand behind my work. I'm in the market for a new weapon. I wonder if I can negotiate a trade with Clint. You know what I'm noticing, guys? They, they, this is new dialogue. I think the dev added new dialogue for further years. Hehe, <laughs> maybe I should start my... Should start a collection of clown figurines. George is on the verge of falling asleep. When Sandy and I were kids, we joked about running away from it and joining the circus. I don't think we would have actually gone through with it, but it's fun to imagine. This is definitely new dialogue. Like, I am absolutely certain this is new dialogue. The Stardew Valley community is truly one of a kind. Yep. After being on my feet all day, it's nice to finally take a moment to relax. Where's your husband? Oh no, who's responsible for littering here? Every year we get some tourists that don't respect our town. You wish to peer through the mists of tomorrow, speak to my colleague, Wellwick. She has an uncommon gift. That young man by the tree seemed intrigued by his reading, but even with my powers, and I cannot probe the innermost secrets of the heart. Huh. That lady told me my fortune. I don't know what to make of it. That you're gonna die! Okay. Ah yes, my crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future, young one. Read my fortune. Ah, indeed. I see you in a room having a conversation with a man. Oh, it's Clint. You seem to be close friends. Interesting. I see you and Abigail working together on a farm. You seem very pleased about something. Crystal Ball has moved on. Now I see you harvesting a plum, ripe melon. You're on a wonderful looking farm, bursting with life. Ah, the Crystal Ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed. If you set your heart on it, head heart on it, farewell. Yep. Very cool, very cool. All right. Let's get our displays. Uh, what? <laughs> My son has a knack for accuracy. I wonder, oh fuck, I accidentally clicked out at it. I wonder if he could shoot a gun, <laughs> is what I'm gonna assume he said. 
Can I play the sh slingshot game again, Dad? I don't like the slingshot game in this. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Here, I have a star token. Can you farm this forever? Wow, you can! <laughs> what a stupid, what a stupid fucking silly shit. Yep. I've set up the grand display. I think it's pretty cracked. Congratulations! Get first. I got an achieve. I've done. I've won this before, but I just got an achievement now for winning it. Congratulations! You won the first place. The rating of a hundred and eight. The prize is one thousand star tokens. Oh, and don't forget to clean up your grand display box. Yeah, I, I'm not interested in leaving all this iridium stuff here. Well, I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work. Good. I can't believe I lost! Sucks to suck. Wow, I got a low score. I guess Mary Lewis isn't much of a fish man. Oh well. I'm pretty sure I already have this rare crow from the first time, so... Rise ticket. I don't only care about the glowstone ring. In fact, I don't think I care about any of this anymore. Uh, what's up? Here? What's over here? Animals. The animals have been given their favorite foods, so they're happy. Feel free to pet them; they won't bite. This is this feels new. This feels new. Moo, moo. I'm trying to talk to the baby cows. Animals are kind of like little people. They also have feelings and emotions. Hey, Obama. Sheep have remarkable memory capabilities, retaining familiarity with both fellow sheep and humans. They even form friendships, mirroring the close bonds we humans cultivate with one another. This all feels... A lot of this just feels like new content and new dialogue. Maybe the dev added to the game so that every year they're like the dialogue is slightly different. Should have went with green. Yeah, you should have went with your ramp spells. And your Nyx Bloom Ancient. You degenerate. Okay. Wow, are we already done? I think we're done. I don't care about the other prizes, and we've talked to everyone. Sebastian needs to stop smoking. I think he does stop smoking if you marry him. I'm astonished by the level of craftsmanship on display here. Some people are so talented. Here's the barbecue. Working four girls simultaneously is hard work. There's a large and hungry crowd to cater to today. Consume. I have a little dash of my zesty sauce with each patty, wink. Alcohol. Life don't get much better than this, kid. Every hundred rounds of the strength game I win, I eat another BBQ sandwich. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying to maintain a diet this fall, but I can't resist these juicy burgers. Well, they're protein, so they're good for you. They're health foods, unironically. Dead ass, unironically. Wow, that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Oh, 
Oh, I can't even talk to you anymore even though there's a, there's, there's a bubble. So yeah, there's not a lot of reason to do any of the mini games because I don't care about the other prizes. So I guess we I guess we're already done. I don't need this. Don't need the rug. I'm pretty sure I have this rare crow. Don't need the fedora. Don't need the dried sunflower. So yeah, I think we're done. I think it's time to leave. Ten PM. Where's my horse? I think he's over here. It's such a weird thing that they, that this is how it works. Like, can't the dev, like, teleport our horse home at the end of a festival rather than leaving it, at, leaving it right there? It's kind of strange. Yeah, I'm not going to use up my melons on that. Or my pumpkins on that. Um... Oh, yeah, I need to water this. So we'll water this. These are not fully grown yet, so I don't need to be worried. Okay. Here's another thing now, so... One... Two, three... Four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have no thoughts. Not a problem. Oh, no, 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 not that. The magic tree is so strange looking. Okay, uh. Got to put those back. It's too late. It's fine. I'll put them back uh, next week. And there we go. Still made money. Still made money. <sighs> and there we have it. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in two days, Friday, if you live in the United States, and we'll be going back to Hollow Knight. We were like more than 80% complete, completion with that game, so uh, it's going to be a fun time. Really enjoying it. Hope you have been as well. And that Stardew Valley is a an appropriate, enjoyable, chill game. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And yeah, that was a very, very healthy, long overtime. So I really should be getting out of here. Hope you have all been enjoying your time spent here. And uh, yeah, so thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. 
I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again soon with Hollow Knight. Ciao!